So, um, yeah, it gets exhausting flexing for this in the beginning. <laughs> My name is Joe, this is my mukbang, and you're watching Jamly TV. Hey, if you guys appreciate this mukbang, please consider hitting the subscribe button right there. The little red button that says subscribe, just hit it. Thanks so much for joining me today. Make sure to give me a big thumbs up and leave me a comment. So today's mukbang, I know I promised you guys that we would have an umu for today's mukbang, but hashtag fail on that. But I brought you the second best thing. This is Pinakis. Woo, Pinakis! So I've had Pinakis one time before and it was the curry chicken. I'm not that big of a fan of curry and so I didn't get it this time. I just got fried chicken, couple fried sausages, some eggs, I think they call this mushroom chicken, and then obviously some rice, but it looks pretty delicious. The only thing for me as an American is that the mushroom chicken has a bunch of bones in it and eh, that's not something that we usually do, but I'm gonna suck it up and eat it anyway. Check this. It looks really delicious. There's a massive piece of chicken there and a massive bone. But there you go. Check out Pinaki's chicken, mushroom chicken. Just some fried eggs with some vegetables in it. Looks delicious, doesn't it? Got some fried chicken here. Oh, you can see the crispiness. You can smell the crispiness right through the camera. And then a couple fried sausages. Also, sriracha sauce for the eggs, ketchup for the sausages, and then obviously my dill pickle water juice. It's just water in a dill pickle jar. All right, time to dig in, I think. Mix up some rice here a little bit with my chicken to start out with. So all these are regular size plates. It looks real, this plate looks really tiny here, but it's the same size as this plate here, even though this plate looks massive, but it's just, just the angle of the, yeah, just the angle of the camera. It's like we got a storm rolling in over here. How's the weather over where you guys are? <laughs> First bite, boom. The flavor is great, but yeah, I could definitely do without the bones. No, but the flavor, holy cow! You just gotta be careful because I think they just—it looks like they just take a piece of chicken and chop it up and put it in here. Oh yeah, sorry. Yep, there we go. Nice piece of chicken there. Um, actually that's mostly bone. Yeah, that's pretty good. I really do wish the bones weren't in here though. I'm not that Psalm 1 of a Psalm 1 yet. Yeah. Where I can straight up eat through cartilage and bones and marrow and skin. Mmm, that hurt. You guys are gonna... Wow, that sounds really rolling in. You guys are gonna give it to me in the comments for not. Oh. For not being able to handle the bones and skins and cartilage. Oh man. Just force it down. Mmm. Man. Did you hear that crunch? This bone. This is the first time since I was like five years old that I ate bones. 
when I was little, ow, I grew up in Pongo until I was five years old. And in Pongo, I remember eating bones all day. Get some of this sausage. You guys ever had this sausage before? What do you think? It looks delicious. Got a nice little breading to it. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. See the inside? Anyway, when I was in Pongo when I was five, I would straight up take that chicken bone, break it in half, and suck the marrow out. But no. Now I'm not that guy anymore. Maybe by the end of my time here in Samoa, I'll be that guy again. Oh. Dang it. Oh, wow, bones in here. Have I said that yet? Sriracha. Check that out. Look at all that sriracha on there. Doesn't it look delicious? Mm. Oh, yeah. No bones in there either. Yeah, these eggs are really good. Perfectly done, as you can see. Mmm. Some carrots, some peas, some onions, a little bit of rice, a lot of sriracha. Ooh, a big piece of meat with no bone, I don't think. Oh, no, I was wrong. Oh my god. Mmm. Ow. Mm. I'm beginning to think you guys asked me to do this video because you knew how silly I would look. Oh. Ow. Mm. Oh, my teeth are going to fall out of my head before the end of this video. Dang. Ow. Mwah. Maybe don't chew so hard and just swallow. Look at that. It's a nice piece of chicken. Oh. Drip. Actually, not that much food here, though. I'm sorry. So, mm. so when you order from Pinakis, you just order by the scoop or by the piece. I don't know. This is my first year at Rodeo. So I just ordered, I think, three scoops of eggs, because you guys know eggs are my favorite. Um, I ordered two scoops of this of this chicken here, and then some rice. Oh my god. Ow. That was cartilage. Oh. Oh. Man. Mmm. Mmm. Holy cow. Y'all are crazy. For real. You see my teeth right here? Oh, feel like it. Man. Woo! That hurt. So. I can't remember how much it is, but. It's something like three tala per each chicken, three tala per each sausage. So what's that? It's 12 tala. And four tala for each scoop. 
are ready. So 12 so that's 24 and then 4 tile off for this. Yeah. So 32 tile off. Probably that. I think it was 30 or 32 tile off. Yeah. It's my favorite though because there's no buns in it. Just delicious meat. Well, I try the fried chicken. Oh. Yeah, that's good. Look at this. Mm hmm. I always joke that Alicia's um, teeth are a little dull. But man, maybe mine are dull too. And you guys have sharp teeth. Be able to bite through this fried chicken skin. It tastes great. But it's so hard. I have to tell you guys um, how much you're away. Oh. At the end of the last mukbang, I weighed 275.6. Beginning of this mukbang, which is a week, I weighed 2. 74.8 so I've lost um, almost almost a pound keep losing a pound a week and we'll be there I'm sorry I'm hoping I'm hoping that I can get to um to hmm, about 235 230 by the end of the year being as it's March I think I can make it. But, that said, I haven't been 230 in almost 20 years. On my, on my honeymoon, in 2001, we, part of our honeymoon was a cruise. It was a three day cruise, three days. And in those three days, I found out you can eat all day long. For free. Included. So I did. And I ate almost all day long. Um I ate I would eat like three or four dinners each night. And then I would eat a couple meals after dinner. Anyway, after those three days, I gained 25 pounds. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced something similar, but... Was that acceptable? Can I clean that off enough for you guys? I don't need you guys tearing me up in the comments. That was a good piece of fried chicken. That's just skin. The kingdom doesn't eat skin. Sorry. Or bones. More skin. Um, oh my goodness. Sorry if you can hear the rain. It is some more. It rains here constantly. Especially now in the rainy season. My knees are kind of numb right now. Fuck it. Ugh. So I gained 25 pounds in those three days, bringing me up to about 255, 260. And really, I haven't looked back since then. I kind of... Oh. oh. For you visitors that are interested in going to Pinocchio's and you don't know, understand that there's a lot of bones in here. And if I went through and picked them out, like pre-picked them out, this meal would be one of my favorites. So I think I'm going to have to do that next time. But every once in a while, you get a surprise. Oh, I need some rice. <laughs> I'm kneeling in this right now, and my knees are killing me so I gotta figure out a new kind of setup because this this setup that I got right now is not working you have to figure something else out
Mmm. A little bit of meat here. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you guys are playing a trick on me. Pinakis is good. But. Holy heck. Ugh. Mm -mm. I think I need more rice. There it is. I knew there was a toothbuster in there. Okay. I feel like kind of diminishing returns here. Really delicious. Definitely deal without without all the bones though. But then again it wouldn't be as affordable. If they were deboning everything, maybe even as delicious, because then it wouldn't um, it wouldn't have the bone marrow in there. And um, bone marrow is pretty good, I think. I think the bone marrow contributes to it a lot. Yep. Back to my trusty, tried and true, blue through and through. Eggs. Man, I love eggs. I eat eggs all day. Uh huh. Because good crunch on that sausage, huh? Delicious. That rain just keep keeps piling in. Well, that plate's all done. Really good. So you guys like your chicken. Do you like your chicken with bones? Without bones? Do you actually eat the bones or do you just feel like it gives you a little bit more flavor? Um, what's your reasoning? I don't like bones because they get in the way. I like to eat fast. Then I can eat more. But bones, if you have to be careful about it, number one, breaks your teeth. Number two, it slows you down. The crunch on this fried chicken, though, is really good. I think it's double fried. I'm not exactly sure. But it reminds me of a twice-baked potato. For you guys that know what twice-baked potato is. It tastes a lot like that. The crunch. I'm probably gonna get a lot of heat for how I eat chicken. I'm trying. But keep in mind, I haven't eaten a bone, a chicken bone, or chicken skin mm. in over 30 years. Hmm. It's actually really good. Alright. I know you saw ones are going to be like, there's so much meat left on there. Yeah. I've examined it. 
And while there is while there is a little bit of meat, not more. Okay, finish the eggs. I should have finished the eggs a long time ago. Eggs are my favorite. Oh, oh. Man, I can't believe you guys don't lose your teeth when you eat the chicken like that. Oh man, oh man. Oh, more rice. Eggs with some chicken. You know what I think is funny? For those of you that are American and don't know someone, or for those of you that are someone and don't know someone, like this guy, chicken is more, egg is full more. And um, it kind of translates to fruit of the chicken. Kind of funny. True story, it is chicken. Chicken fruit egg. Mmm, yum, yum. What do you think that I'm gonna weigh after I'm done eating all this? I think I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna gain like maybe three pounds. Cause, well, you guys are gonna say I left a lot of bones, which I did. I'm embarrassed to even show you. But also, there just wasn't as much food today as I usually like to eat for a mukbang. Oh, man. These eyes are so good, though. No bones. It's the best part about it. There's not even any eggshells in here. Whenever I cook eggs, I always got eggshells in my stuff. It was good. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Hey, if you guys like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button right there. Oh yeah, I'll tell you how much I weigh now. Two more bites. Tossy. Bye, Leah. Look. Mmm. Yep. Mmm. Some water. <sighs> Twenty four ounces there. So I probably so I probably gained four pounds, is my guess. More food than I thought. I weigh two eighty now. So I started at 274.8, I weigh 280 now, so what's that, 5.2 pounds. 5.2 pounds, a pound and a half of it was water, I guess, but still, like four pounds of food, that's still very respectable. Well, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang. It was a fun one for me, getting to enjoy some pinakis. Definitely gonna hit it up again. I just gotta avoid the bones next time because I'm gonna lose a tooth at the rate that I'm going. I'm just not good at navigating the bones. Maybe you guys are better? Anyway, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below of what you guys would like me to do next, and we'll see you soon. Aftaite lava, Manuel Asso. Ow. Mmm. Mmm. Ow. Holy cow. Oh, that hurt. Oh, oh, mm. oh, mm -mm.